Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Lee. Join, Join us, us as, as we, we journey, journey around, around the world. world. back into the airport to get internet service. We're going to use Uber. A taxi driver came up to us and said that he could take us for the same price. We have not had good luck with taxi drivers. And okay, yeah. We have found that the taxi drivers can be very pushy. And that's in all of the countries that we have visited. What we have found is that Uber and Grab have a designated pickup point. It's our first time heading into Gaul. We're gonna walk down to the bus station or bus stop and try our hand at the public bus, which they've been passing us and you'd think they would be in a race. They drive super fast, speaking of buses. Scott said we missed the bus because I was filming. In less than five minutes, two have passed us. So they do come really frequently. We've been told by a couple other people who are staying at our villa that it's quite an adventure to take this public bus. So we're anxious to see it. <laughs> oh, 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 it's rolling. Well, it was kind of a rolling stop. The first two people get on, then it starts rolling. So move quick, or be comfortable stepping on buses as it starts to drive away. A shoe repair. Oh, a shoe repair place. There's plenty of tuk-tuks here. It can take you where you want to go. Hi. Yeah. If you 
you want to purchase the lotto? Yeah. You can buy a lottery ticket. We're trying to make our way into Fort Gall. Get any fresher than, than that. The locals are helpful. Go six minutes. Gaul Fort was first built in 1588 by the Portuguese. Then the Dutch extensively fortified it during the 17th century. to be the old Dutch hospital. It now has restaurants and shops in it. Looks like somebody's getting some new furniture at the police department. This is a wonderful place to come and have lunch or dinner. There are several restaurants in this area and also a couple coffee shops along with jewelry shops and some other souvenir type items.
many gemstones are mined in Sri Lanka. So if you are in the market for any type of jewelry like that, this is your place. I think this is the kite flying area. And Scott just spotted something that looks like ruins up here at the top, a signal station. Taking a rest in the ammunition bunker. The juice, you know, it's been busy, it's a good sign, but it's about 33 cents. And one uh, passion fruit. Yes. Yep. Oh. Okay, over there. Oh, fantastic. We were heading home after a long day out. We got lucky. All of a sudden we saw fireworks and then we heard what turned out to be a cultural show with all of these traditional dances throughout the Sri Lankan history. Enjoy. to the front of the bus in time to get off of our stop. So now we've got about three quarters of a mile past our stop. Always stay at the front of the bus. We went to the back, not a good move. And we 
didn't have time to squeeze our way to the front. Always stay at the front of the bus. Signing off so we can navigate these roads. Bye-bye. That's all, folks.